Hello. Thank you, Jonathan, for joining us. Uh, if you want to start off by just talking to us a little bit about, you know, what goes into preparation for a short week between, you know, three mat three days between matches. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a kind of week uh, strange because in the season we have not so many weeks uh, so full. But uh, yeah, we have to prepare for that too because uh, there is a week that we, we have to cope with this kind of uh, preparation. And yeah, it's the idea that we are having, especially in the last weeks, about shares or the load uh, for the players. Uh, you know, uh, it's, you have to make sure that everyone will be health, uh, will be healthy and ready for, for playing all the games. Everything what we did against Chivas and Gotham the other day is thinking that what is the best for them in terms of training and preparation. And tomorrow will be the same thing. And we have numbers ready to, to compete. We had uh, new players playing um, against Gotham that uh, because we needed numbers. And uh, yeah, let's see the training for today. But uh, I think everyone is healthy and everyone will be available to, to play the game of tomorrow and try to get um, everything to, to get a good result. So far, we've seen uh, a lot of players playing in new positions uh, during the Summer Cup. Uh, what is your kind of philosophy on uh, getting players, you know, just more experience, more mass time, especially the younger players so far? Yeah, for me, it's an important point uh, because when we speak about football, I like to speak about roles. So it's not about position. Uh, what uh, what do you have to do being there, uh, coming inside, playing out, giving height? Um, if you have to make the pass, which is the meaning of the pass, it's about communication, it's about position, it's about uh, understand my role into the game. It's everything that I am trying to practice uh, in the training. By the way, uh, friendly games give me the option to prove different things that maybe is uh, gonna work for the for the season. Um, the game that we play against Bay FC, we we could um, uh, prove uh, my canvas position in the right, in the left playing out, coming inside. So I like I like the kind this kind of player that they can develop themselves to be better. Um be better for me means a lot. You know, it's just not about to make good things with the ball without the ball. It's about have a good adaptation in different positions. So we are practicing on that in training and have this kind of game give me the options to prove them competing. And uh, that is what I what I like to do. And switching topics a little bit here, uh in the Olympics so far, uh Teams with spirit players on have done well so far, Canada, the U.S., and Colombia. Uh, just, you know, talk a little bit about what it's been like seeing spirit players uh, play on the national stage. Yeah, they are doing pretty well things. Um, they are competing really well. They are getting good results. And, um, you know, for me, uh, you can be a good player, but compete this kind of competition is, is much more, you know. It's just not about being a good player. It's have the standard to compete at the highest possible level. And they are showing a good performance. Uh, for me, this competition only play the the good ones, you know, because um, you have to cope with the pressure only one time each four years. So that is very difficult to 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 compete. And the beginning is good, but now it's the most important thing, you know, is maintain the level until the end and let's see what happened with all of them. But uh, until now, I think the performance is being good. And any questions from DC News now? All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, everyone. We will see you tomorrow night. Thank you.